Here's Suzuki. Puck in behind the Tampa net. McDonough is on it there. Crunches it to the boards. Suzuki takes a hit from Chernak. Down to 15 seconds. Puck pinned to the corner to the right of Vasilevsky. Comes out in front. It is cleared as time winds down here in Tampa. Five seconds remaining. Puck retrieved by Petrie. Lightning strikes twice. The Tampa Bay Lightning with their second straight Stanley Cup. straight for Pat Maroon. Unbelievable. How about the shot blocks? The last half of the third period for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Barkley Goudreau had at least four. Ward had a last one. And no better feeling as a hockey player to be in the middle of that pile. And the reaction from Carey Price. Carey Price in his 14th National Hockey League season, his first trip for the Stanley Cup final. And he gave his team a chance to win tonight, guys. And you, you think back to game four. He called himself out after game three, says he needs to be better. He was better in game four. He was good enough to win here in game five. But like so many other teams have seen against the Tampa Bay Lightning, it's not as easy to score as you think. The Lightning, once again, are able to win a one nothing game in a clinching scenario. How about Andre Vasilevsky, boost ties an NHL record, his fifth straight shutout in a serious clinching game, including two straight Stanley Cup final series. Incredible. And he has to be the Conn Smythe winner for me. Uh, considering what he was able to do in clinching scenarios, often overlooked because there's so much star power on this Lightning team, he deserves the respect and the recognition. And, uh, and to me, he is the Conn Smythe winner. We'll see if that plays out that way this team is not the same if they don't have Andre Vasilevsky in goal well, we just saw Alex Kalorn shake hands with Shea Weber the captain of the Montreal Canadiens unable to play the last couple of games because of a shot block back in game two Kalorn grew up in Montreal. He was a Canadiens fan as a youngster. And the Lightning missed him. But they were able to find ways to win, and it speaks to the depth of their club. And it wasn't the Stars that won it for him in the end. Guys like Johnson, Goudreau, Coleman. Tonight, it's Ross Colton. That man right there was shut down in this series. But the depth of the Tampa Bay Lightning found a way to, to win the series.
Well, two great goaltenders right there showing their respects for one another. And you often wonder as you get older in your career, will you ever get there again? That's the part that is the most difficult to deal with for guys like Carey Price, for Shea Weber. John Cooper, the sixth head coach in the post-original six era to win back-to-back -back Stanley Cups. Four are in the Hall of Fame, the other is still active. Fred Shiro, Al Arbor, Glenn Sather, Scotty Bowman, Mike Sullivan, and now John Cooper. There's Ross Colton. He scored the only goal tonight in a 1-0 Tampa Bay victory. Adds his name to a list which includes Wayne Gretzky, Mark Messier, Bobby Orr, Gordy Howe, Maurice Richard, and his teammate Braden Point last year, a Stanley Cup winning goal. I'm in Tampa, right? I think a lot of people think they're a team that wins those high-scoring games, and that indeed is true. But, Bush, when you think about it, Game 7, Round 3 to get to the Stanley Cup Final for, again, playing the New York Islanders, what'd they do? They win a game one nothing, And now to win the Stanley Cup at home in game five is John Cooper has words with Carey Price. They're able to win a one nothing game. The Lightning win the Stanley Cup. They defeat the Canadians four games to one.